Hey guys, so I'm going to do my bookshelf tour and this is an overview of my bookshelf. So let's get started. Up there on top I have an Alice in Wonderland bucket and a Breaking Dawn bucket. Um, I got from the movie theaters. I got that a couple days ago. So let's get started. I have the first four in the Mortal Instruments series and they are City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, and City of Fallen Angels, all by Cassandra Clare. And I'm really short so like this is high up for me right now. Um, then I have Clockwork Angel, which is the first book in the Infernal Devices series, which is a prequel to Infernal Devices, and that's by Cassandra Clare as well. Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Mayer. I'm pretty sure you've heard of them. The Hunger Games trilogy, The Hunger Games, Catch and Fire, and Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. Divergent by Veronica Roth, a really good book. And then The French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. Um, the Maze Runner, The Scores Trials, which I'm currently reading, The Death Cure, all by James Dashner, Looking for Alaska by John Green, this is my first, the only, only John Green book that I have and I have not read it yet, Tiger's Curse by Col uh, Colleen Hoke, amazing, amazing book, and this is the second one, Tiger's Quest by Colleen Hoke, and I'm really excited to read that, second row, this is like even for me now, <laughs> um, Beauty Queens by Leva Bray, The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak, Jellica Road by Melina Marchetta. Perfect Chemistry. I mean, no. Perfect Chemistry by Simona Glez. Jessica's Guide to Day in the Dark Side by Beth Fantasky. The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by um, Michelle Hopkins. The first four in the Pray the Liar series. Pray the Liars, Flawless, Perfect, and Unbelievable by Sarah Shepard. The first two in the Harry Potter series. Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets. These are the only two that I have. The first two in the summer series, um, Summer I Turn Pretty, It's Not Summer Without You by Johnny Hahn. I read the third one. I, bought, I brought it for my friend. The third one, I think, is the best one. Infinity by Sher Sherilyn Kenyon. My only Sarah Dustin read, Along for the Ride. Um, Night Worlds, Secret Vampire, Daughters of Darkness, Spellbinder. It's a bind-up by L.J. Smith. The other Westmore, my only nonfiction book, I think. <laughs> it's by Westmore. It's, it's actually pretty good. I had it with my sociology class. The Iron King by Julie Quagga. I think it's how you say her name. I don't know. Um, Marked and Betrayed, the first two in the House of Night series by PC and Kristen Cass. Shiver by Maggie Stafader. Move this over here. Um, Evermore by Allison Noel. A Bend in the Road by Nicholas Sparks. The Lucky One by Nicholas Sparks. Dear John, and The Last Song by Nicholas Sparks, and The Vampire Diaries, The Awakening and the Struggle by Nick, by L.J. Smith. And then I have <laughs> these random things gum, and then I have The Vampire Diaries Season 1. Over here, it's just it's on the corner. That's my phone. Um, I have Eon by Allison Goodman. Ah, I have The Enemy by Charlie Hickson. I, I'm actually reading this one right now, but I just put it in there for just so you can see. <laughs> Epic by Connor Kostick. Fight Game by Kate Wilde. Wings by April Lynn Pike. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Stig, Stig Larson. I don't know. Um, you Have to Kiss a Lot of Frogs by Laura Graff. Emily the Strange and Stranger. Artemis Fowl by Ian Colfer, The Da Vinci Code and, and Angels and Demon by Dan Brown, The Squad by Jennifer Barnes. Ah! Um, Win, Lose, or Die by John Gardner, The Shining by Stephen King, The Giver by Lois Lowry, Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. These are four books. They're chiller thrillers. And just comes with... Um, Teacher's Pet, Diane Ho, The Perfume, no, Fun House, The Perfume, and The Waitress. Uh, I have not read those yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Then we have, uh, what's it called? Harriet Farewell. The very best in the mystery, Harriet Farewell, Margaret. I don't know what, the, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Moving on. The Phantom of the Opera by Gaster Lyrics. Then I have Twilight and New Moon. These are the Buddhist things. Um, my aunt got me those two because she didn't know that I actually read them before. So I just have them sitting here because I didn't want to be rude and say I already read them. So 
Then I just have a bunch of pens and pencils and then this thing, which I got from like a meal. Um, <laughs> it's just some random stuff over there. Ah! Okay. Then down here, I have just some random stuff. Um, this is Kathy's book. I read when I was younger and it comes with like these little things. This is Shakespeare stories. It's five classic plays told in story form. Romeo and Juliet. Anthony and Cleopatra. I'll bet you, you know one Shakespeare. Withering. Um, oh, these are the edited versions, though. Well, Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. I think they put her name as Alice Beale, though. I think that's what she had her name as. I really want to read this book. Okay, Up Close and Dangerous by Linda Howard. Um, Engaged to Die in Death of a Party by Carolyn Hart. The Soul Sealer War. This was, like, in a pack. I don't even know. I, I don't think I'm ever... I'm never going to read this, but... It came in, like, a pack or something. Um, Life as We Know It by Susan B. Piper. I want to read that. My books are fine! Um, Stalemate by Iris Johnson. Or Joe, something like that. Finding Amy. Um, Rainbow's End by Iron Henian. <laughs> Beverly Clearly's uh, Ramona Forever. I read that when I was really, really little. She said yes. As You Like It, it's like a Shakespeare thing. And then a book about dreams, which is actually my mom's. And then I have... A bunny, uh, class of 2009 teddy bear, that's when I graduated, and then down here I have random stuff. These are just two books that are going to my niece and my nephew for a Christmas present. Pirates of the Caribbean for my nephew, and then a Cinderella book for my niece, there's part, part of the Christmas presents. Then I have some random textbooks that I can't sell. Um, a Twilight, a New Moon poster, some bookmarks back there, and just a whole bunch of random crap. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, this is my bookshelf, my entire bookshelf. Uh, so yeah, um, video, leave video responses of your bookshelf. I would love to see them. And yeah, check out the links below for good reads and Twitter and all the good stuff. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.